you imagine waking up every single day saying, ah, this sucks. My day sucks. And then taking that and going to someone's YouTube channel and watching one of their videos and telling them how bad they suck. Misunderstanding what I'm saying. Misunderstanding what I'm doing or blatantly ignoring the fact that I know what I'm doing. Could you imagine if and when things go wrong, coming to the realization that you actually have no life skills? That if things go sideways, you're screwed. Can you imagine instead of attacking me, maybe you wake up that day and you say, what can I learn today? What can I change? If not, how can I make the world a better place? How can I make my world a better place? Could you imagine not knowing me? Not knowing what I've done. Not knowing where I come from. Not knowing who I am. Not knowing what makes me me. Not knowing what brought me here. And attacking me. With bad information. <laughs> How about instead you wake up and you say. Huh. I don't actually know what deep litter method is. Maybe I should look into deep litter method. Ah, all right, the guy got it. Got it half right. He got it three quarters right. He's missing this one little element. Man, if I could just tell this guy, have you tried this? Hey, I was doing some research into deep litter and I noticed that you were doing this, but I've seen that if you do it this way, it works better. It changes the pH, it changes the moisture level. Could you imagine then watching my video with that mindset and helping me? Not just helping me, Helping all the other people that are watching who might also be using deep litter method. But instead we have to deal with children who have no life experience, who have done nothing. I don't know where you are and I don't know how you got where you are, but something's brought you to the point where you think it's best to simply come to my channel and instead of just clicking away because you disagree with me, trying to burn me down. Well, I can tell you because of where I come from and what I've been through and what I've done to get where I am, I can see right through you. And I understand that you don't know what you're talking about. Within a couple sentences, I can understand that you're just there to pick a fight. And I can tell you one thing, the pendulum is swinging back, my friends. And everybody is tired of listening to the keyboard warriors. It doesn't bother me anymore. When I started this channel, it was for funsies. We have a little farm. We raise chickens. We raise rabbits. At the time, we were raising pig, goats, and sheep. And I started this little channel for funsies. And the places it's taken me and the people I've met, because when I wake up, I say, how can this day be the best day possible? What can I do to improve myself? What can I do to improve my farm? What can I do to improve my business? And I look for things. And I do research on things I don't understand. And I grow. A lot of y'all need to grow. We have the world at our fingertips. And you would say, I don't know how deep litter works. Let me find out. Maybe what you think is a good argument to tell me in a very 
short-sighted, angry manner would leave your brain and you could become a helpful person. You're gonna wake up one day. Let me say it like this. Who do you want to be? Not who are you. You know who you are. Who do you want to be? You're gonna wake up every day and decide what you want to be. And you have to strive for that. Show me your receipts. That's a good, good phrase. Show me your receipts. What have you done? I woke up one day a goat farmer. And I decided I wanted to be a good goat farmer. And on that journey, I had to learn how to be a good goat farmer. Of course, good is subjective. You have to take, I think, the averages. You have to find out what's good to you. Good to me is our goats having a barn to get in out of the weather as it's pouring down rain outside. Having good food. Having good medical care. There are thousands of goat channels out there, guys. And we did a lot of research to learn from those channels what we thought was best to have good quality, healthy dairy goats. And if we didn't like a channel, if we didn't like what they were doing or how they were doing it, we just didn't watch. People have no ability to filter anymore. If I say something like, Hitler was probably one of the greatest, uh, maybe next to Churchill. Hitler was probably one of the greatest public speakers that ever existed. How does a guy who came from nothing, who was what would be considered nobody, end up running Germany and performing the atrocities that they performed? And most of you will hear me say Hitler is probably the greatest public speaker that ever existed and tune out without thinking there might be some real, real logic to that. There's one leveling force that's happened to all of us and that was COVID and it happened to everybody. It happened to the entire world. And if you didn't look around and even ask yourself, can I even feed myself? I don't mean run to the supermarket and grab your food. I mean, if it, if it gets real, our supermarkets were getting pretty empty at a point. I had no issues knowing whether or not I could feed my family. If it had kept going, then what? Can you feed yourself? Do you know how to hunt? Do you know how to trap? Do you know how to fish? Do you know how to grow crops? So there's not much relevance in me listening to someone who I know can't even feed themselves, telling me how to run my farm. We started this farm from nothing. Two goats, 24 chickens. And within five years, we're able to sustain ourselves with this farm. And then we started the YouTube channel on a whim because my wife was like, you can do that. And as always, she's right. Da, 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 da. Oh, you want to stay inside? Okay. I like to say take the meat and leave the bones. Take what you want. Take what works for you. And leave the rest. I don't have a problem watching somebody I don't like. Because I'm able to think clearly enough to understand that I don't like everything that every person on the planet says. If Stacy out there has the best food program that I've ever seen for goats, but I think she's doing everything else completely and utterly wrong. I have no problem taking her food program and utilizing that 
and leaving everything else she does that I don't like or that I don't believe in. Some people treat life as a game. I treat life as a game. And what I mean by that is, consider yourself a character in a game. What do you do in a video game? Work, take the right steps to build yourself, to build your character, if you will. My wife loves Heyday, and she has taken her little Heyday farm and built it to the point where she can buy the next new equipment as soon as it comes out, as soon as they upgrade the game, as soon as they do an update, new tool, new equipment. She's created this farm that she controls, that she's made wise decisions with, that she's built, and now has the power and the money to upgrade it at will. Consider your life as a game. What would you do? Upgrade your character? Make the best moves? Make some mistakes? Learn from those mistakes? Develop good habits? Build on those habits? Get smarter, get faster, get stronger? Some of y'all, as is evident, just continue to run up to that ledge and then throw yourself off thinking that something's gonna change. Maybe next time you get to the ledge, tap that A button and you jump. Could be B, I don't know, I don't know. I'm old school Nintendo guy, I don't remember though. <laughs> it's A, you've got to change. Nobody's gonna come to your house, force you to do anything that's gonna improve your life. You have to do that. You have to look around. You have to say, do I wanna spend my time sitting on YouTube and so other social media platforms, yelling at people my angry rants about how I think they should operate their life when all I do is go to work, make enough money to pay my bills, sit in my house until I die, do something else. I've heard it referred to as work, consume, die. I have said it before, and I'll say it again. If my wife came to me and said, let's move to Thailand, I would say, how do we get the goats there? And let's start selling stuff, because we're not taking it all. I'm never gonna be the guy who built this and then sat on that porch until I died. You get one round, you get one go on the merry-go-round, y'all. You gotta look up, you gotta wake up. Spend your time doing better things that matter to you. Some of y'all live under the false pretense that you're gonna come in somebody's comments on their YouTube channel. Let's, let's say me specifically. You're gonna berate me and degrade me and tear me down and I'm gonna feel any sort of anything about it. And then you're sad when I don't. I learned a long time ago not to argue with people who wanna argue. You just sit there and stare at those people, let them burn themselves out, watch them get more and more and more and more angry till they consume themselves. It's a sad and glorious thing to watch. I do this channel for entertainment, for community, for people out there who love goats, who want or need a goat fix every day, who just enjoy watching the babies run around. I love being able to provide that to people who want that and need that. I've literally had people argue with me that I don't have blue eyes on my channel. I mean, yeah, sometimes they look green. Sometimes they're dark. Just know this. I'm not the one. If I woke up tomorrow and YouTube canceled my channel, I'm gonna come to this barn. I'm gonna milk these goats. I'm gonna grow my business. I'm gonna move to Rumble. I'm gonna move to Instagram, to TikTok. I'm gonna start another YouTube channel. I don't quit. So your petty little comments. And I, I give much, much respect and appreciation for those of you who jumped in comments Specifically regarding this goat barn and how I cleaned it and why I left it the way it was. People just don't listen. You just don't listen. I clearly stated why I left hay on the floor. What the girls will do is they'll drag out 
a mouthful of hay like this, nice and dry, nice and fresh. They'll drag out this much, they'll eat this much, and the rest of it goes on the floor like that. It was cold. We spent seven days, eight days below freezing, meaning we never came above 32 degrees Fahrenheit. And I, knowing my goats, knowing how they act, knowing where they go, what they do, how they sleep, where they sleep, looked around me and said, they're either gonna sleep on the cold, hard concrete, or I'm gonna leave hay down on the floor so they can sleep on nice, dry, warm hay. That's why I left it on the floor. That's why I said I left it on the floor. That's what I told everyone. And that's what I did. So to argue with me that I should clean this floor at least every other day. I should have never left the floor dirty. It doesn't help anything. I don't care. <laughs> I truly appreciate those of you, my OGs, who jumped in the comments and defended me. That's a thousand percent awesome. You can't have a thousand percent of anything. I appreciate that. And what I appreciate more about it is that you did it in a professional, adult type manner. Where you just presented them with the facts, corrected their ignorance, as I'm trying to do now, as I've done many times before. And this isn't one of those videos, y'all. I've done videos before, just call people out. This is just a video to let y'all know. You're free to disagree with me, but this channel is built on community, helping others. I know I have tons and tons and tons of other goat farmers that watch this channel and we watch theirs and we talk and we communicate and we're free to reach out to each other and say, hey, this is what I'm experiencing. Do you know, can you help? Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. Sometimes the best answer is, man, I just call your vet and, and chat with them. I'm always gonna do what I think is best for my goats. Period. If you don't like it, don't watch. But to decide to leave a stupid comment, and some of you will know because I, I'm... I, <laughs> Drummy Drum 6 is in heat, and it is adorable. Drummy. Boom, 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 boom. Do you need a boy, my lady? Oh no, but they're not out yet. Let me go let them out. I don't want you standing in the rain though, okay? <laughs> Drummy baby, get out of the rain. Oh yeah, yeah, you're like your aunt, you know? The hellfire and brimstone would not stop you from going over there and standing next to those boys. Do the head roll, it's in the family, I guess. Come on, goofball. <sighs> Her aunt. In case anybody's wondering who I'm talking about, Puddin. If you haven't seen Puddin when she's in heat. Yeah, yeah, it's insane. You know, at the end of the day, I have a ton more to say and maybe most of you have already left and I've probably lost a hundred subscribers or more and I've been on this journey since late last year. Some of you know, I've talked through it, my dedication, my focus. When I say show me your receipts, what I mean is, what have you done? You can see every single day what I've done. This was literally a bean field six years ago, five years ago. I mean, six years ago now. <laughs> and we built this farm. And we cleared the land. And we built the fences. And we built the barns. And we bought the goats. And the goats led to Soap, the Soap Company. And the Soap Company led to the YouTube channel. And now here we are. And if I had found this 
this drive, this dedication, this love for what I'm doing now in my 20s, I'd be a multimillionaire right now. I don't want anybody to confuse m me thinking money is where it's at because it's not, because money is only freedom, freedom to go where you want, freedom to do what you want, freedom to provide the best care for your goats, freedom to do the things that you want to do. And now I come to the realization that I have such a short period of youth left in my life and I'm gonna drive this train <laughs> as hard as I can, as fast as I can. And we're either gonna get to the end of the track where I wanna be, or we're gonna drive it off the track and we're gonna keep trying to drive there. To me, you guys have to understand it's a different mindset. I, I throw crazy stuff at age all the time and she knows me. 28 years we've been together, almost 29. And I throw crazy stuff at her all the time. And she knows I'm serious. If I tell her I wanna get soap in the hands of this actor, ah, Ryan Reynolds, she knows I'm serious. Maybe it goes nowhere, but maybe it does. But I'm gonna do it. And she knows that, so we figure it out and we do it. And it's the same with her with me. When she wants to do that, look, look, we just wanted a couple sheep for pets. Then we found goats and now here we are. So at the end of the day, I'm gonna leave you guys with this. What is your mindset? Your mindset should be what gives you the best opportunity for success, whatever success means to you. If I want to get soaked to Ryan Reynolds and I just say, well, he probably won't, he probably won't like it. And he maybe will probably never, if he does like it, he'll never contact me. He'll never reach out. He'll never tell anybody else. He'll just have used the soap and he got a nice bar of soap and he liked it and he moved on with his life. Or you can live in the mindset that I live in, which is I'm going to give Ryan Reynolds a bar of soap. He's going to love it so much. He's going to talk about it on his YouTube, Instagram freaking TikTok phone company put it in a movie deal let's go because to me that's the best it, it may be delusional and I think we're all delusional to some degree and of course it sounds delusional when I say it out loud but that gives me the best mindset to have the best chance to go where I want to go and if I'm Debbie Downer about it, I'm just going to quit. You know how many times I don't want to make soap and I make soap anyway? There are days, guys. I love making soap. I honestly love making soap. The science, the fun, the, the, the mixing, the blending, the beauty, the, the fragrance. Every, I just, I love it. There are days I don't want to make soap. If I had a freaking Bugatti and I could drive anywhere I want as fast as I want all the time, every single day of my life that's still going to get boring you're going to wake up some days and you're going to be like i just don't want to so please create the best mindset that gives you the best chance to achieve whatever you want to achieve that you deem as success do you want your mindset being i sit here i watch a youtube channel i yell at people i go to the next youtube channel I yell at them, I go to the next YouTube channel. I yell, that's your life? That's literally your life? That's what you do? You have so few human years on the planet. So few, so little time. And when it comes down to the end of everything, time is all you have. I mean, if you wanna waste your time sitting around yelling at people on YouTube, cool. You want to create a fake persona for every channel so you can keep yelling at YouTube because YouTube's blocked you and every creator's blocked you. You're yelling at someone who has a real life with a fake life. You understand what I'm saying? It's sad. It's literally sad. Last thing I'm going to say, why would you cheat yourself from achieving your full potential. You really have to look at your life. 
And you really have to really look at it. Not like people look at their life and I'm, do, 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 I'm doing fine. Look at it and ask yourself, is this what I want to do for the rest of my time until I die? Why cheat yourself out of your full potential?